Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop. I'm joined by Jerry. Hello. What have you brought today? Mesher Smith's ME410s. Ooh. So these are some heavier aircraft for Blood Red Skies now. Yes, they are still um, fighters of a type, but you know they're they're a little bit chunkier. Yeah. Well, this this is something that I was talking to the boys about a while back. Is that they were going to do some heavier gear. I mean, like you've actually got instantly a new bigger, heavier base that everything else is going to clip into, which I I quite like because mm. bigger plane needs to be a little more stable. And we get one, two, three, four, five in the box. Yep. Alright, and oh my word, they are metal. Yes. The Lord's own material. Oh. Right, well let's get a gander at them, shall we? Mm. So, what do we think here? Detail looks pretty good. Yeah, detail doesn't look too bad at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say, my, my concern would be the, the little triangular connection point on these, because they are that little bit more chunky and heavy, but it should be okay. As oh, long it as should be grand. The... the um, Counterpart, the plastic counterpart is a large section, mm. so you're not just going to be gluing the triangle, you're going to be gluing the triangle and the base of the aircraft yeah. and it does to the look top like of the flying stand. They've got the balance point pretty good on this hmm. for holding it, which is quite nice. Well, that's just common sense, really. Yeah, it's, it's good design. Hmm. So, let's have a look at the stack card. Uh, so this is a twin-engined fighter bomber, mm -hmm. and it's got great dive, heavy hitter, multi-engine two, turret rear, which is nice, so it can shoot behind it. Uh, top speed is pretty good, attack's pretty good, maneuverability is a bit poor. Yeah. But what do you expect? It's a bigger, heavier machine. It, it is a lumbering beast. Mm. And then it's got its actual uh, tactical cards as well. Yeah. So this is Big Game Hunters, uh, bonus heavy hitter. Uh, play on a friendly plane shooting at a disadvantaged multi-engine plane. Uh, do an undodged critical hit uh, will inflict two boom shits on the target aircraft. That's nice. So it's it's really hammering into stuff. I'm laughing it has agile. Uh, the aircraft suffers none of the multi-engine aircraft penalties this turn. So you can actually be a little bit more aggressive with it. If you Throw want. it around a bit if needs be, yeah. Uh -huh. What else we got here? Heavy hitter itself. Add one firepower die to the attack, any successful count as critical. That's nice. So this thing's really going to dish out some punishment. And you get a few of these. And then we have Great Dive, we know what it does. Add the planes, maximum move instead of six when running advantage to dive. And I think that should be everything. Yep. That's the loss by, by the um, ah, yes. effect tokens. and uh, It's always tokens, worth showing this sort of just in case you're, you're new to the, the game. So. The things you're going to have on here is activation shits, plane markers, your actual ace markers. These tell you what level your pilot's at, which determines when they go in a round. Uh, you've then got your boom shits, and you've then got this little range ruler, which is pretty perfect. Yeah. I think overall it's, it's a nice little set, mm. just having a look. Most of the castings are clean. Yeah, there's, there's one, one there. Or, one or two little gate points, nothing too severe you need to worry about. It's less the gate points, it's just the quality of the cast. I thought that was a miscast, but it's not. It's just burn coming out of the um, mm. coming out of the mold too hot. Yeah, well, I mean, like, if you think whenever you're metal casting, it's a very different process to resin casting or plastic casting. Yeah, so. but then that's where quality control comes in. Mm. Yeah, but I, re I remember we actually got a chance to do some a few years back, and the actual skill level needed to actually do metal casting, it's more than you would think. And there's a lot more people have their hands to your miniature before it goes in that blister for you or that box for you. Right, I'll tell you what, everybody, hmm. drop your comments in below. Tell us what do you think of the Messerschmitt ME410. We'll move on. See you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.